Dancer, singer, actress, producer, and businesswoman Jennifer Lopez is a multi-talented artist with an admirable career. J. Lo has been a regular on movie sets since the 90s, and she's made some excellent films, but also a few flops. Here's an overview of her film career, from worst to best. No surprise here. Geely is generally considered Jennifer Lopez's worst film, and one of Hollywood's biggest failures. She plays a mafiosa sent to help another criminal, Ben Affleck, succeed in his mission. Difficult to summarize, the film combines poor direction, a very thin script, bad and badly delivered dialogue, and numerous cliches about lesbians and disabled people. The Boy Next Door was inspired by real-life events experienced by screenwriter Barbara Curry. That doesn't make the film better or less problematic, however. Jennifer Lopez plays a teacher who has a summer fling with her neighbor, Ryan Guzman, an eventual student, a young man who's not yet 20 years old. The latter develops an obsession with his teacher that threatens her family life. On paper, The Wedding Planner had all the makings of a successful romantic comedy about an impossible love. Jennifer Lopez plays a wedding planner who falls in love with the groom, Matthew McConaughey. On the screen, however, the chemistry doesn't work, and the film relies on a love story based on cheating. Not very exciting. Directed by none other than Francis Ford Coppola and starring the late Robin Williams, Jack is about a boy who suffers from a syndrome that causes him to grow up too fast. Jennifer Lopez plays the elementary school teacher with whom Jack falls in love, as only a child can. What was supposed to be a sensitive comedy about the fragility of life becomes a collection of unfunny vulgar jokes and uncomfortable moments. With a meager score of 17% on Rotten Tomatoes, the backup plan is among J. Lowe's weakest movies. Jennifer plays a young woman determined to have children on her own, but meets the man of her dreams, Alex O'Loughlin, on the day she's inseminated. What did the critics think? Extremely predictable plot, unlovable characters, a multitude of cliches, and jokes that fall very flat. Jane Fonda and Jennifer Lopez face off in Monster-in-Law, another comedy that's regrettably short on laughs. The two actresses do their best as an evil mother-in-law and future daughter-in-law, but the plot is unimaginably thin, the gags are stale, and the characters are too stereotypical to be endearing or original. Half Adventure, Half Horror, Anaconda is one of a long line of giant monster movies. Jennifer Lopez is part of a National Geographic team that saves the life of a mysterious man who's searching for a legendary anaconda. The low-quality special effects and humorless B-movie plot explain the bad reviews, despite relative success at the box office. Viola Davis and Jennifer Lopez team up in Lila and Eve as grieving mothers turn vigilantes when the police fall short. The film, directed by Charles Stone III, received mixed reviews. Viola Davis's excellent acting was praised, as was Jennifer Lopez's more serious side, but the film's plot twist seemed out of place. Most critics immediately made, unflattering, comparisons to the iconic working girl, but second act is actually not such a poor imitation. Reviews highlighted Jennifer Lopez's charm as a store clerk who's denied a well-deserved promotion and begins to lie her way up the ladder in a large company. More touching than other J. Low romantic comedies, Made in Manhattan is a true fairy tale. A case of mistaken identity leads a future senator, Ralph Fiennes, to believe that a hotel employee, Jennifer Lopez, comes from high society. The plot is rather absurd, and the dialogue rarely hits the mark, but J. Lowe's endearing personality and her chemistry with Ralph Fiennes' work. Jennifer Lopez lends her voice to the character of Lucy Tucci, the mother of an earthling who escapes during an alien invasion in Home, a film based on the book The True Meaning of Smet Day. This colorful movie, based on situational humor, appealed more to children than parents. In fact, the latter were not privy to the second-degree jokes and pop culture references that filled the book. As the name suggests, an unfinished life seems, according to critics, incomplete. The film oscillates between real moments of vulnerability between Robert Redford and Jennifer Lopez, in the role of his daughter-in-law fleeing an abusive spouse, and writing that invites overacting and false emotion. 
It's not bad, but it's also not the best we've seen from director Lasse Hallström, Chocolate. The Cell, director Tarsum Singh's first film, mixes crime and horror as a psychologist, Jennifer Lopez, uses experimental technology to enter the minds of comatose people, one of whom is a serial murderer, Vincent D'Onofrio. While many critics have pointed out the film's priority of aesthetics over plot, others are convinced that Singh's fantasy world was simply ahead of its time. Director Oliver Stone's U-Turn marked his return to crime films in the style of natural-born killers. In this rather violent, yet typical Oliver Stone film, Jennifer Lopez plays an attractive woman who would like to kill her husband, Nick Nolte, and vice versa. They happen upon a criminal, Sean Penn, who's willing to kill to pay off his debt to a gangster. The critics weren't as harsh as Stone's nomination for a Golden Raspberry Award might lead you to believe. In Blood and Wine, Jennifer Lopez plays the Cuban mistress of a wine merchant portrayed by Jack Nicholson, who attempts to use her to steal a valuable diamond necklace. Directed by Bob Raffelson, this film noir received positive reviews, noting its respect for the genre as well as the acting. The film wasn't history-making, but it was far from a flop. Shall We Dance, starring Richard Gere, is a remake of a 1996 Japanese film about a married businessman who, on a whim, enrolls in a dance school where Paulina, Jennifer Lopez, a dancer who's lost her taste for competition, teaches. Their friendship takes an unexpected turn. Several critics, including Roger Ebert, appreciated the film despite its deviation from the original and much less conventional Japanese version. J. Lo's dancing skills helped her deliver a realistic portrayal of Selena Quintanilla, a Tejano music icon who died tragically. Selena, written and directed by Gregory Nava, not only propelled Jennifer Lopez's career, but also introduced Selena to audiences outside of her Mexican and Latino roots. Ants was the third computer-animated film ever made and DreamWorks Animation's very first production. Its all-star cast includes Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Sylvester Stallone, Christopher Walken, Dan Aykroyd, Danny Glover, Woody Allen, and Bancroft and, of course, Jennifer Lopez. The latter lends her voice to the character of Azteca, the main character's worker and friend. The film received praise for its inventive plot about the reliable trope of individuality versus collectivity, high-quality animation, and ability to turn ants into engaging characters. Sharing the bill with George Clooney, Jennifer Lopez plays a U.S. Marshal in pursuit of a criminal with whom she falls in love. Directed by Steven Soderbergh, Out of Sight received Oscar nominations for Best Screenplay and Editing and even made Entertainment Weekly's list of the 50 Sexiest Movies Ever in 2009. In Hustlers, Jennifer Lopez delivers the best performance of her career as she helps a group of fellow strippers take revenge on their rich clients. Based on a New York Magazine article and directed and written by Lorene Scafaria, the film was a box office success, received nearly unanimous critical acclaim, and received numerous awards, including several for Lopez's performance, and nominations. <laughs>